This presentation is brought to you by the City of Greensboro's Economic Development and Business Support Office. I can tell you, uh, when you go and you approach somebody, uh, when you come up with a product idea or a business idea, everyone's a skeptic. Uh, when you try to raise capital, particularly for businesses that are based on intellectual property instead of bricks and mortar, it's a little harder today on bricks and mortar, but it's always been hard on intellectual property. Uh, that's a trick. Uh, and especially if you do it through angel investors, friends, and relatives. And I uh, have been blessed to do that. Um, it's not always fun. If you, if you don't feel like you're about to go bankrupt at least once or twice in the process, you're probably not trying hard enough. <laughs> okay? Uh, and I would say today that Piedmont, we're 11 years old, and... Uh, I just feel like maybe we're almost in the last uh, 12 months becoming, quote, an overnight success after these 11 years. You begin with an idea. You have to put your business plan together just like you had in your classes. If that is all real. The discipline of building a business plan uh, is one of the most important things you can do because it makes you think through the problems, the issues, where are you going to get the money, where are you going to get the people. Uh, if you can imagine getting people to join a company, you have no financing, you have some product ideas, uh, and then six months into it, uh, how many people would want to work for a company that has no legs under it, imagine this, and Within six months, you're working without getting paid. Uh, I have several other people who've worked with me, including myself, went for over two years without getting paid. And in fact, what you do is you pay to work there, uh, <laughs> which is a different trick. It all comes back to vision, sharing the vision, rewarding the people who work with you, don't forget who helped bring you to the party. Uh, when I think about the team members and success, you got to let everybody share in the success. But it's not just in the pat you on the back. One of the keys in building a company is you might need to make sure you set that company at the very beginning, thinking about the key people who are with you to give them the ability to own equity in the company. There's nothing that can incentivize a team more than they got stake in the game. And that's something I think we've been very successful at, at Piedmont and at our previous company, Blue Ridge. How do you come up with the opportunities? How do you make them happen? How do you implement these things? Uh, for myself, I've never had a chemistry class in my entire life. That's what I do for a living. So obviously, I have to have people a lot smarter around me than myself. So that's also a key. Don't ever be afraid to hire somebody who's smarter than you. Uh, some of us, that's an easier proposition than others. <laughs> so if the enemy's coming and you're in the foxhole, you want somebody beside you, you don't have to worry if they're going to load the gun, pull the trigger, or shoot. Uh, that's the team you want. And you can't ever forget your investors. These investors have taken a bet, whether it's out of belief of the process, the concept, your idea, your people, whatever, or just making a game. Your investors are your lifeblood. And not just once they give you the money, that you owe them a responsibility. It is your responsibility, starting a company, to make sure that you're thinking about how are you going to get their money back? Uh, I can tell you at times, uh, particularly with uh, Piedmont, there have been difficult times. There were times where you're literally on the edge of the building like the cat hanging on with its claws. Um, but when it goes right, it goes really right in this business. 
So we strategy, work on strategy and implementation of strategy and managing partners. Um, why do I want to build a distribution center if I got FedEx or UPS? Why replicate people's jobs who are better at it than you? So you don't have to go, when you think about a business, whether you want to manufacture tires or you want to make bricks or you're cutting lumber, that doesn't mean you necessarily have to have a logging crew out there. So when the keys I'm trying to say is not so much about Piedmont, but the lessons you can learn as you implement your own careers and hopefully create companies and jobs in the future.